Hi everyone. In this video, we will set up a flow that will remove all spam from our inbox, leaving only the emails from the senders that we want to receive. It's super easy. Let's get started. Hop over to Power Automate. And we're going to create an automated cloud flow. We'll just name this something like remove all spam. And our trigger is going to be when a new email arrives. So this is the part where we set things up with the advanced options and you're going to need to insert your email address into the two line. So I'll grab mine and then we can actually leave everything else as is. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a condition. Now, this condition is where we will add in the emails from the senders that we want to continue to receive. So in this choose a value field, you're going to select from, and then you can, you have a, a few different ways of setting this up, but I'm going to use the from contains. So the from contains, and then in this case, what I want to do is I want to make sure, because this is my company email, I want to make sure that I'm receiving all the emails from people within my company. So I'm gonna use my company domain and that will ensure that um, it will filter out anything that comes in from someone with the company domain and leave those emails in my inbox. Now we're going to add another row for the condition. And we also wanna set this and to or. So once again, select from, and I'm gonna select contains. Now I have a few other emails that I get on a regular basis from some people from other companies. So that's where I can add those in here. Now you can continue to add rows until you feel like you've captured all of the emails that you want to continue to receive. So I'll just put in one more. I want to make sure that I get uh, emails from my um, from my retirement company. So I recommend that over the course of the next couple of weeks, after setting this up, you make a habit of checking your spam folder at the end of each day and verifying that you are not missing any important emails. When you set up this flow initially, you might not think of everything you want to receive. I only have three conditions in here, but over the next over the course of the next few weeks, I'm going to be adding more. I'm going to be coming in and editing this flow, and I'm going to add more rows here. Um, so at the beginning, some of the stuff that you want to receive will go to your spam, and it will take a few weeks to sort that out until you can truly set it and forget it. So to finish setting up our flow, we need to choose what to do here. This condition is filtering out um, all emails except for what we're indicating here. So what we're gonna do is in this no action, we're gonna, we're gonna add an action in, into the no area here, and it's gonna be simply move email. And the message ID is gonna be under our dynamic content. So if you scroll down here, you'll find message ID. And then I'm gonna move it to my junk email. So I'll select junk mail. Now you can set up a completely separate folder and have it filtered um, or have it moved to that folder. That's another option. And this, all right, now we can go ahead and save. And we're all set. So this is what my mailbox looks like now as a result of running this flow. And it's 
great way to keep things cleaned. I get all sorts of marketing emails and Outlook just simply does not, simply does not move all of them or recognize them as spam, which is what they are. News is to com uh, continuously um, redo their email address so that even if you're junking email from one company, they just, and then, so that way, you know, you don't, you don't get it anymore. The email from that company anymore. They're just going to send you more email from a tweaked email address and they're going to continue to do that. So you can junk an email from one company as many times as you want, but they're just going to keep spamming you. So this is um, one option of really making sure that you're just keeping only the stuff that you want to get. You don't have to spend we have jumped ahead, and as you can see, my flow history shows how many times this flow has been run. If we look at the 28-day run history, and we can see that it's run uh, fairly frequency here in one day alone. It ran a total of five times, and so far today, which is May 21st, it's ran four times. And if we go into the flow, I'll go to edit. We can see that I have since added some new rows to my condition. So I've got quite a few different things going on here that's filtering out so that I'm getting those emails from these uh, from the individuals or the or the organizations um, where the uh, um, the sender contains um, the, these items over here. So it's working really well and still checking that. Uh, spam folder every day and just making sure that I'm not missing anything important. I'm going to do that for another week or so here and then I'm set it and forget it. All right. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.